Hey y'all, welcome back to Mill and Tater. Today I'm gonna to be sharing what we actually made for the Super Bowl. The video before this was just some ideas that we had. So this was some stuff that I had done and then we also had a couple things that were done by other people so I didn't show the whole process or anything but I did show everything that we had. If you're new to our family, we'd love to have you subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. So the first thing we're gonna make is actually a salsa kind of chip and dip thing. So you'll just need one pound of this sausage. We just used original, one pack of cream cheese, and just some salsa. This is all I had, so we just had to make that work. But you can use more there. What we're gonna do is put the crock pot on low and we're just gonna put everything in here. And I'm gonna start with the salsa and just put some of that in here. We only had about four people anyway, so we didn't need a whole lot. And what I'm gonna do is actually put a little bit of water in here and just try to get some more of that flavor out just to add that extra little bit, even though I didn't want it too watery, so that's why I didn't do a whole, whole lot. Then what we're gonna do is take our cream cheese and put it in the crock pot. I did cut this into little cubes and it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but it will start breaking apart. And then I'm just gonna mix that and get that salsa kind of put in with the cream cheese before I add the sausage. So next I'm gonna add in the sausage and I just used that black pot that I had used in the previous video in the Super Bowl party food one that I had cooked the hamburger in. I'm just gonna get that added to the crock pot and get everything stirred together. So now that we have everything kind of incorporated as good as we're going to get it for now, I'm just going to pop the lid on this and we're going to leave it for a few hours. Essentially, I just put everything on warm because it's all cooked in there and just kind of mixing together. And I'll just stir it every now and then. And like I said, just keep it on warm the whole night until you're done with it. It's gone, whatever might happen with it. Um, we actually had some left over, so I just popped it in the fridge later. And it heats up really well if you want to just keep that for a couple days. Next, I'm going to go ahead and get our oven preheated at 350. We're going to be making biscuit bombs that I saw on Jessica O'Donohue's channel. So you're just going to need some cream cheese, some cheese, and I actually had an open bag already, but we're going to use both. The biscuits and the bacon bits. So we're going to start with putting the cream cheese in the bowl and we're going to mix the cream cheese with some cheese. And honestly, I feel like the shredded cheese, you just kind of add as much as you want, but it was probably half a cup to a whole cup and then what we're going to do is mix in the bacon bits Next, we're gonna get our muffin pan and we're gonna spray this real good. And then we're gonna start putting the biscuits down. Now with those, I did use the flaky layer. So I just kind of pulled them apart to make just two separate out of one. And it did kind of help. You can also pull more layers if you don't want as much biscuit for that biscuit bomb.
Now we're going to go in with our mixture of the cream cheese, shredded cheese, and the bacon bits. And we're just going to put a little dollop in each of these. And just make sure you kind of press down to make like a little bowl almost out of that biscuit for that to sit in there pretty good. Now that we've got all of these filled, and I had to go back in there and kind of add a little more, you'll see in the video here, but I had to go add a little more into each of them. We're going to pop these in the oven. I think we did ours for 12 to 15 minutes. It really just depends on how much you want that biscuit done. And here's what they're going to look like when they're ready to come out. Like I said, you can cook them longer or shorter than we did. It's just, we don't like it too, too done, just a little done. And here's what that sausage dip is looking like after about 15 minutes. So what I also did once we got to our friend's house, the, where we actually watched the Super Bowl, I had made some Alfredo dip for Alfredo and breadsticks just to dip. And here's the breadsticks. And all I did was just from a previous What's for Dinner video is make that Alfredo that we had put on the Alfredo chicken. So this night we also had a friend make some of these cookie cups. And then our main dish was really tacos. Um, again, I didn't make this and you guys know how to make tacos. You just follow the seasoning packet. And so what we did is had tacos and then we had all of the toppings here, just lettuce, tomato, cheese, sour cream. And then we also had another friend make the Oreo cream cheese kind of dip. I'm not sure exactly of the recipe. It's one that's been going around on TikTok though. And we had strawberries, Oreos, and graham crackers with that. I hope this video gave y'all some ideas of some party food that you can make, whether it be Super Bowl next year or anything in between. And like I said before, if you're new here, we'd love to have you subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Y'all have a great weekend.